You know I've realized something. If I keep making videos about my life stories, then soon I'll run out of life to talk about. Which is why sometimes I'll agree to do a thing just so I can make a video about it later. Perks of being a YouTuber. So my mom is friends with this junior high school teacher. Kudos to any junior high school teachers watching. It amazes me that anyone would be okay sitting in a room with 27th graders and not even getting paid that much to do it. My mom was talking to her like moms do, and I guess I came up in conversation. And my mom told her that I wanted to be a math teacher, but then I became a YouTuber instead. So my mom's friend, I'll just make up a fake name for her, I'll just call her mom's friend. Mom's friend comes up to me and says, hey, would you be interested in helping tutor some seventh and eighth graders? Ew. I think the only reason she chose me was because one, I'm good at math, duh, and two, I'd be good with kids or something. I told her I'd do it because seventh and eighth graders are the worst kinds of people. Uh, unless you watch my videos, then you're cool. I'll finally get to live my half-hearted dream of teaching kids math. Now I didn't make this video to talk about math, okay? That's boring. Before I even started tutoring these kids, mom's friend asked if I wanted to chaperone on a field trip so I can get to know them. Okay, 7th and 8th graders are between the ages 11 and 13, aka the worst time to be alive as a human. You're going through puberty, you're super self-conscious, no one wants to be your friend. 7th grade is just one big popularity contest, and everyone's losing. No one looks back at themselves when they're in 7th grade and thinks, yeah, I was all right. There's definitely some sevies watching right now thinking, oh, I'm not that bad. Doesn't matter who you are, you're gonna look back on these years and hate yourself. I remember when I was in the seventh grade, I noticed all the cool kids wore really low socks. The shorter the sock, the cooler you were. So I always wore the lowest sock possible. Most of the time, you couldn't even see the socks. It looked like I was wearing nothing. That's how cool I was. Sometimes I put on girl socks because they were the lowest socks I could find. I was so... Cool. Anyway, I was going to be chaperoning these kids on a field trip. They were going to the big college here in Arizona. Can I just say ASU? And this was supposed to get them excited to learn and pursue a higher education. Kind of awkward bringing me along, the successful college dropout. Hey kids, you should go to college. It's important. I, I don't count though. And I didn't know what to expect on this field trip. YouTube says my biggest demographic is 18 to 24 year olds, but I don't think that's true. Because it's usually kids leaving comments and emailing me asking to collab. Either they're the loud minority, or there's a bunch of kids lying about their age on YouTube. I walk into the classroom, and everyone's head turns. Is that the odd ones out? Oh my goodness, that's the odd ones out! Kids started forming lines, they were taking pictures, they were hugging me, and I'm just kidding, that didn't happen. No one cared, they were all still talking in their clicks. With all the kids I've talked to over the internet, that sounded wrong. With all the kids I've talked to, I was hoping that one, at least one kid had seen my stuff. But nope. So I just sat in silence and played on my phone. We get on the bus. I don't remember where I said this, but on school buses, all the cool kids sit in the back. Well, this time the opposite was true because I sat in the front. We arrive at the college. I go to this group of kiddos and I say, so what do you want to be when you grow up? And at that moment, I realized I sounded exactly like one of those adults who try to talk to kids but have no idea what to say. I was planning on them saying, ah, astronaut or doctor and then I was going to say well you could learn that in college that's what I was going to say so what do you want to be when you grow up they said nothing they didn't say anything they just looked at me like why is this old guy trying to talk to us? So then I just walked away. All right, I need a new question. I wanted to somehow bring up, hey, I have over a million subs on YouTube. But that's tacky. You don't just start conversations like that. Sub counts have to come out naturally. So I went up to a new group of kids and I said, so do you guys watch any YouTube videos? And most of the kids did the same thing, looking at me like I was weird. But one kid said, rice gum. Ugh, ew. Here's actually the story of how I met Rice Gum. So I was at VidCon and all of a sudden a huge crowd of people just goes running by. And I said, who's that? And someone else said, Rice Gum. And then I said, oh, who's that? And I didn't really meet him. My friend Gabe did though. <laughs> So we were given a tour of this college, and it was actually kind of interesting because it was the college that I would have attended if I wasn't trying to save money. It was fun seeing what could have been. There were other junior highs doing tours at the same time, so we crossed paths with this preparatory school. I'm guessing it was a preparatory school because they were wearing uniforms. And this one kid in the other group just pointed to me saying, The odd one's out! The odd one's out! Over and over, and I just said, hey, back to him. 
And that was it, we just kept walking. No pictures or high fives. Man, why couldn't have that kid been in my group? Preparatory kids are so much cooler. So we do the tour and I was in the back not talking to anyone. We ate lunch and there was actually a kid in my group who did know me. His name was Connor. I think he was too shy to talk to me at first. Thanks, Connor. Where were you when I asked your peers what they wanted to be when they grew up? But he was cool, we ate lunch together. The field trip was almost over and I kept thinking, man, I did not connect with these kids like at all. Well, they are only seventh and eighth graders, so it's not like I need their approval. Approval. Hey kids, I have 1.8 million subs on YouTube! It was tacky to use my sub count to get validated by these children, but after I said that, everyone loved me. I think I made a good connection with them. And okay, all the kids I tutored that were failing math, 90% of the time they weren't failing because they didn't understand the material, they were failing because they were missing assignments. So alright, I'm about to tutor everyone watching this video, and this goes for you college folks too. Kids? Turn in your work. Even if it's late, it's better than a zero. All right, lesson's over. We're not gonna do an end card for this video because I wanted to show you guys something. Here are all the cards I made for the plushies. Good news if you live in the States because they will most likely arrive before Christmas. Sorry if you live somewhere else. Also, if you ordered a custom signature, you're just gonna get one of these boys. We wanna get them out before Christmas but then we're gonna send the, the special ones later, so you'll get two cards if you if you uh, ordered special instructions. Bobby, what do you have to say? <laughs> also, another important announcement is I'm gonna be taking a Christmas break. I have been working non-stop on videos since VidCon, so I am in desperate need of a break. I'm still gonna be posting comics and maybe some other non-animated video if I can, but this is the only animated video this month, so I guess Merry Christmas. Can I say Merry Christmas? Whatever holiday you celebrate, just wear your seatbelt. Look at that. This is my, I haven't, I haven't hung it up or anything. It's just, it's just on the floor.